Alan Turing didn't actually take part in the breaking process, but he did make two valuable contributions. Uh, in 1936, he had written a paper about an, a, a programmable electronic computer, and this was the foundation of the theoretical work on that. But in 1943, at the beginning of 1943, a group of three cryptographers briefed Tommy Flowers as to what was needed in a machine to help the testery. And one of these three was Alan Turing. So he played a very useful role in that. The engineers, in my view, did a fantastic job. Both the people who made the machines and the people who kept them running. Um, Colossus itself, as far as I know, gave very little trouble. Uh, Heath Robinson was different. It did give quite a bit of trouble because it used two tapes and the tapes kept breaking and had to be repaired very carefully to keep the sequence. The Tunney machine, again, gave very little trouble and was fantastically useful.